Incognito mode is a private browsing feature in Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and other browsers. When you open it, your browser won't save your browsing history, cookies, or login info after you close the window. Some people think it makes them completely invisible online. Others use it for, well, secret reasons. But what does it actually do? How does it really work? And most importantly, what are the limits? Let's clear up all the myths around it today. How does incognito browsing actually work? Normally, when you surf the web, your browser is quietly collecting data. It saves cookies so websites remember you. It keeps history so you can revisit pages. It even caches files to load sites faster later. When you switch to incognito, the browser says, I'll still use cookies. I'll still store cache, but only temporarily. Once you close this window, I'll throw it all away. So while you're in incognito, websites work normally. You can still log in, watch videos, shop online. But the moment you close that window, poof, it's like your session never happened. But here's the catch. The deletion only happens on your device. Outside of your computer, your traffic is still flowing across the internet normally. Why isn't incognito truly safe? This is where people often get misled. Incognito mode is great for hiding your activity from people who use the same device, but it doesn't hide you on the internet. Here's who can still see you in incognito. Your internet provider, ISP, they see every site you visit because your traffic still passes through them. Your work or school Wi-Fi admin. If you're using office or campus Wi-Fi, they can still track your browsing, websites themselves. They can see your IP address and sometimes track you with advanced techniques like browser fingerprinting. Search engines. If you log into Google while incognito, guess what? Google still knows it's you. So, an example. Let's say you go incognito and watch a YouTube video. Sure, your browser won't show it in history later, but YouTube itself, and Google behind it, definitely knows you watch that video. When and why people should use incognito. All right, so what's the point of incognito if it's not real privacy? Believe it or not, it's still useful in the right situations. Multiple accounts. Suppose you're logged into your personal Gmail, but you also want to quickly check your work Gmail. Just pop open an incognito window and sign in. No need to log out of your main account. Testing websites. Developers often use incognito to see how a site looks to a brand new visitor without old cookies interfering, shopping or booking tickets. Sometimes prices are based on your cookies and past visits. Incognito can give you a fresh view without that tracking. Borrowing someone's computer. You can log into your social media or email and once you close incognito, none of your login details will remain. So, in short, incognito is great for local privacy, keeping things hidden from your roommate, family, or whoever else uses the same device, when you shouldn't use it. Now, when should you not rely on incognito? On public Wi-Fi. If you're sitting in a coffee shop and open incognito to check your bank account, the Wi-Fi provider or a hacker on the same network could still monitor that traffic. For sensitive research, if you're looking up medical information, political topics, or anything you'd rather keep private, Incognito won't shield you from your ISP or the government. To block ads or trackers, advertisers can still fingerprint you and follow your activity even in incognito. Example, let's say you're planning a surprise vacation. If you use incognito, your spouse won't see the search history on your laptop, but your airline, Google, and your internet provider still know exactly what you searched for. So here's the big picture. Incognito is not a magic invisibility cloak. It's just a simple tool to stop your browser from saving history, cookies, and logins. It hides your activity from people on your computer, but not from the internet. If you truly want online privacy, you'll need stronger tools, a VPN to hide your traffic from your ISP, or the Tor browser if you need maximum anonymity. But if your only goal is to stop your laptop from showing that 3 a.m. search for how to dance like Michael Jackson in the morning, incognito mode works perfectly fine. Stay safe, stay smart. And remember, incognito hides things from your roommate, not from the internet.